All right, so welcome everyone. It's your boy JB in the place to be. And that's the best intro I've come up with so far. So, you know, bear with me, right? And today's topic of discussion is why your cable sucks and there's nothing you can do about it, right? Not necessarily saying that um, the provider is trash, but when outages happen, there's really uh, nothing you can do about it because there's a series of issues that can take place. A number of reasons that your service just went out and it ain't just because you didn't pay your bill, okay? So let's get into it. We're gonna start off with this article from ABC7 News. This afternoon, we experienced a fiber cut that impacted our services in the Southwest Florida area. Network and engineer teams were deployed to repair the lines and we are now starting to restore the services and bring our impacted customers back online. We sincerely apologize to our customers for this inconvenience. Now, make no mistake, this video isn't for you to sympathize with your cable provider or your internet person or whoever is delivering your content, right? It's not that sort of party. Just gonna share my experience and help you make your peace with how badly your cable sucks. Okay, and why it goes in and out all the time, right? Okay, so the article makes mention of a fiber cut, which is important, and we'll come back to that later. Okay, yeah. So getting back to the article, 72% of customers are experiencing landline internet problems, and 26% of the customers are experiencing a total blackout. Okay, so what do they mean by this? Landline internet problems. The majority of customers these days, they've been cutting the cord and they're just going to internet only. Okay? There's a number of things that can happen, whereas one customer goes down and it's because this customer went down, it actually affects other customers. It's weird like that. We're not going to get into it. Maybe at a later date, though. But it also says that 26% of customers are experiencing a total blackout. These will be the customers that just don't have internet. They have internet service as well as TV. And even some people still have home phones for some reason, right? But if we move on, we're aware that you might be experiencing a service interruption and we are working to resolve the issue by approximately April 25th, 2022, 5:27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate your patience. Okay? Now as a technician myself, I can tell you straight up that this that this that this statement is complete trash. So there's different kinds of outages. It's not just uh, someone flipped the switch and then suddenly, you know, your porn hub goes off or maybe your internet goes off. Maybe your YouTube goes off. It's not that simple, okay? There's two kinds of outages, right? There is the application-related outage. That's uh, an aspect of the program that's used to deliver your content. It has just malfunctioned. But then there's also the physical damage aspect, and that's what we're going to go into, okay? So there's tree rats, okay? They chew the lines, and they hide out in numbers, right? And if you invade their territory, they tend to attack you. Nothing you can do about that, you make your peace with it, right? But finding that damage can be difficult. Oftentimes it's in trees uh, or it's hidden away, right? Because these things like to hide for safety reasons, right? Then there's, uh, yeah, then there's hit lines, right? If a line is hanging too low or for some reason it sags or maybe there's even a car crash, right? A car hits a pole, the pole falls, causing the line to break, right? That's an outage, right? None of us are carrying police scanners. How will we know if a pole just got hit? Just make peace with it. You keep on moving, man. Um, there's insects. Yeah, there's insects. Ants, bees. If an enclosure isn't secured properly, they make their nest their colonies or their hives inside of the case and then next time you go to open it there it is you know suddenly you're being stung dozens of times or you're being swarmed by ants there's nothing you can do about it there's nothing you can do about any of this by the way 
Um, but then there's the weather-related outage, okay? It's an odd phenomenon, whereas around the holidays or when the weather gets warm, uh, your fiber or even coaxial lines or maybe um, Ethernet lines tend to get hit by stray gunfire. Uh, bullets seem to rise into the air and then land in the fiber. <laughs> and then land in the fiber. It's weird. It, 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 it's weird. You would think that with all this sky, with all this open air, how does a bullet manage to hit something so thin? But it happens more often than you think. And it's, and it's for the most part in the summer or around holidays, especially around July 4th. Go figure, right? And then there's fires. And that's what we're going to move on with this discussion, okay? A garage fire, which is also weather-related because uh, homeless people tend to congregate in garages and they light fires to stay warm, right? Yeah, th those small fires that they use to keep warm, those small uh, campfires that they make, they tend to spiral out of control, leads to a garage fire, which leads to melting lines or even broken lines. And that's what we're gonna see. That's what we're gonna talk about uh, for the rest of this discussion. All right. All right, so here we go. Yeah, so this is a recent garage fire I responded to, okay? Uh, apparently a car was inside of this garage. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell, but in that open space there, in that open space in the center, you can see uh, you can probably imagine that there used to be a car there, all right, and it caught fire, burned up this garage, uh, and did significant damage to the other uh, adjacent properties, right? And it also damaged the overhead lines, okay? So you might be asking yourself, how can a technician find, you know, one point of damage inside of an entire neighborhood, right? And like I said, it's not like we're all carrying scanners or anything. It's not like we got... Uh, yeah, it's not like we can call up our buddy in the force, you know, our buddy cops and whatnot, and ask, Hey man, you know if there's a fiber uh, damage, you know if there's a coax, you know about any fires? It, it, it's nothing like that, right? Nothing like that at all. But we do have tools to help narrow the scope, right? Yeah, so two of which would be the signal meter. This is the old school DSAM uh, to RF meter. And then there's the OTDR, which is to the right. Okay, so how do they differ, right? One measures uh, radio frequency signal strength and quality, while the other measures light distance, uh, fiber optic distance, as well as intensity and modulation, right? Okay, so how do these things work, right? Now in this particular clip, uh, I'm basically using my OTDR while I'm in my bucket to try to shoot the distance to where this fiber ends, right? And right here, we can see that there's a problem here, right? It's problems are always in red, right? Uh, if you want me to do a video on the usage of an OTDR, uh, just shorten to the point, uh, leave a comment below, let me know, I'm here to help, okay? So, like I said, here, uh, we can see where the fiber ends. So it tells us how far this fiber is going and if your records are up to date, you can compare that to what it was in the past, right? Because in the past it was working, but right now it isn't, okay? Right now it isn't. So you would compare these two distances and, you know, do your basic algebra, your basic math, right? And then you can zero in on the damage, right? Doing subtraction, right? Or even how far away it is. There you go, it's just that simple, right? but I make it look easy, don't I? I make it look very easy. Well, anyway, so so that that's the OTDR in a nutshell. Tells us how close we are to the damage. Yeah, no two outages are exactly the same. Just like every party has got a different DJ, okay? So, yeah, tip your technicians. So your internet company may not suck as badly as you think it does, okay? When your service goes out, there could be a variety of reasons that led up to this, of which we've explained, right? So, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, comment below if you've had uh, interesting interactions with your uh, service provider, right? Let's talk about it.
Okay. Peace.